Hello everyone, I'm glad to have you join us today. I've been visiting with our wonderful 2016 South Carolina State Teacher of the Year, Suzanne Cody. And Suzanne, I remember the day when uh, I called you, you were on an airplane and you found out you were a finalist and then went on to become our State Teacher of the Year. I, I know you've had a great year. Why don't you tell us a few things that stand out in your mind as the most positive things that you've seen over well, the last year? It's been an incredible year. It's hard to believe a year has already passed since, the, since I was named. Um, but I've been able to go into a lot of schools and see some of the programs. Um, I'm really impressed at some of the things that South Carolina students are doing. At one of the STEM schools, they're actually using the 3D printer to create prosthetic hands. Wow. And so I think that's an incredible use of their knowledge. Wow, and I'm sure you do. You have an opportunity to really see how things uh, have changed. How long have you been teaching? This is 12 years. 12 years, so mm -hmm. have you seen uh, things change over your career or even from when you were in school? Oh, absolutely. Um, the teachers are not in front of the room on stage anymore. Now right. the students are doing the learning, they're doing the work, and teachers are there to facilitate. It's much more real world. Right. Um, and I see the same thing as I'm going mm -hmm. around. What's neat is that that's bubbled up from teachers. We haven't passed mm -hmm. any law to tell them they have to do that. They're mm -hmm. just doing it on their own. One of the things that I'm real interested in is getting more volunteers involved and more uh, local groups, whether it's uh, the Rotary Club or churches involved. So mm -hmm. have you seen community involvement or any, any uh, examples of really good programs as oh, you absolutely. travel? absolutely. I've seen a lot of groups get involved in mentoring programs, so especially some of our young male students who maybe don't have that father figure at home or a strong male role model in their lives. Some men from the community are stepping in to be role models from them, for them. Mm -hmm. I also see businesses coming into schools to serve and let students know what's expected out in, into the career world, and I think that's a good positive move. Right, and it really helps, helps the kids on a one-to-one -one basis, and I mm -hmm. think the people who go in and volunteer really get a lot mm -hmm. out of it too, and they, they get to see all the good things that are going mm -hmm. on in public schools. So Absolutely. I'm telling educators to find something very mm -hmm. meaningful for volunteers to do. So what about you? Now that the year is about <laughs> over and uh, you got a few more miles to drive on the BMW, mm -hmm. but what are you planning on doing after, after the Teacher of the Year? Well, this year I've really discovered that I'm passionate about the recruitment and retention issue. Um, I think it's important that we have teacher advancement. We take teachers to new platforms and elevate them in the profession. And so I have decided to join Sarah. So I'm gonna work at the Center for Educator Recruitment, mm -hmm. Retention and Advancement and work with each of the districts on their teacher forums. I'll be working with the mentor programs and hopefully helping to strengthen that retention issue. Well, great. Well, I know you'll be happy and we'll do a wonderful job. And I know too that you'll continue to be an advocate for the teaching profession. Absolutely. So. Mm -hmm. Molly, I really want to take this opportunity to thank you. I think teachers are feeling the support from the State Department. They know that you are an advocate for us as teachers. We have a voice now with the focus groups and you're listening to what we're saying and I think that has changed the climate in our schools. Well, and you. so I really do, on behalf of all teachers, want to thank you for that. Well, thank you very much. I'm honored to have this opportunity. And we look forward to another great year and another great event as we name our 2017 South Carolina State Teacher of the Year.